rise today to speak on the much needed topic of tax reform. The high rates and complicated nature of the current tax code are burdening individual taxpayers and make businesses less competitive on the global market. Uh, that simply has to change. It's been more than 30 years since we've passed major tax reform, and we're well past time. Unfortunately, I recently learned of a serious threat uh, to reforming the tax code called alpacas. Now, what do these cute, mild-mannered pets have to do with federal tax policy? Well, earlier this year, I issued an oversight report entitled Tax Rackets, Outlandish Loopholes to Lower Tax Liabilities. That report demonstrated how clever accounting allows nearly anything imaginable to become a write-off, including alpacas. To illustrate the point, the report outlined how local and federal tax bills can be sheared by claiming exotic pets, these exotic pets, as livestock and turning backyards into barnyards. And that's when the fur really started to fly. Alpaca owner associations that once brazenly touted this tax fleece as a key selling point uh, for the animals now feigned outrage at the suggestion. The association tried to pull the wool over the eyes of taxpayers by retaining a professional PR consultant. They launched a media campaign inundating my office and others with phone calls, with social media messages, and letters with photos of alpacas. Through slick uh, reporting and aggressive lobbying, uh, tax-subsidized alpaca ownership was somehow presented as a bulwark of small business and flourishing middle class. If this were a uh, mere mention of a tax break costing $10 million annually and enjoyed by relatively few taxpayers elicited such an outmeasured and aggressive response, imagine the backlash we'll face when we're attempting to actually eliminate tax preferences benefiting powerful corporations and special interests to the tune of billions of dollars. There are over 200 loopholes buried throughout the tax code that collectively cost $123 trillion annually. Again, 200 loopholes buried throughout the tax code that collectively cost $1.23 trillion annually. This exceeds the total amount spent annually by the federal government for all discretionary programs, which includes defense, education, transportation, foreign aid, and protecting the environment. These exemptions increase the bill for the average taxpayer. They also make the tax code so complicated that most individuals have to hire a tax professional or buy software to help complete their tax returns. At more than 74,000 pages in length, no one, not even those in Washington who write the laws or enforce them, truly understands federal tax law. Special interests are taking advantage of this confusion by hiring armies of accountants and Washington lobbyists to dodge taxes and cash in on the complexity of the code. For example, developers are claiming, this is a lot of home builders, claiming $8 billion in tax credits every year, supposedly to construct low-income housing. But with fewer homes being built and no basic accountability requirements, it's nearly impossible to track how this money is being spent. The Government, Government Accountability Office the GAO, which is investigating, said, quote, the IRS and no one else in the federal government really has an idea of what's going on. The same is true with hundreds of other tax loopholes. A luxury yacht can qualify as a second home and can be eligible for a mortgage interest deduction. Alaskan ship captains can expense costs for whaling as charitable contributions even though no money goes to charity and whaling is illegal. High rollers can itemize the cost of gambling trips, including entertainment. Even the cost of losing lottery tickets can be deducted, a kind of scratch-off write-off. Only the IRS knows who is taking advantage of these loopholes, and the agency often cannot verify whether those claiming the tax giveaways are even eligible. In order to achieve meaningful tax reform that makes the code simpler and fairer, we've got to be able to first evaluate who's benefiting from these loopholes, for what purpose, 
and for what price. That's why I'm introducing the Tax Expenditures Accountability Act, uh, which will publicly disclose the names of the corporate and special interests receiving tax credits and the cost of these tax credits. This bill requires the Department of Treasury to disclose the special interest receiving tax credits just as all other federal expenditures are currently disclosed on the public website, usaspending.gov. Sunlight is obviously the best disinfectant, and I look forward to exposing many of these loopholes, eliminating them, and returning the savings to individual taxpayers in the form of lower taxes. But as the alpaca lobby demonstrated, riding herd on tax breaks will cause every special interest benefiting from the code's complexity and unfairness to cry foul. Washington's powerful special interests will mobilize and threaten to derail tax reform. And many would rather protect these loopholes than allow taxpayers to keep more of their own paycheck. Coming up uh, short on reform is not an option. We've got to do it this year. Individuals and businesses are suffering under a broken, antiquated tax code that is in dire need of fixing. We can't be deterred in efforts to achieve real reform that redu reduces the tax bill for everyone. That uh, yield back.